So there was a recent Facebook post about uh, Bernie Sanders and his tax plan. And it's claiming that in order to pay for Medicare for all, and some of the social services that he wants, that he's going to raise taxes up to 52% on anyone who's making 29000 per year. Uh, this post was spreading like wild. A lot of people were viewing it as something that discredited Bernie Sanders. If you actually look, though, for the fact, and they marked it as false, said that it wasn't accurate in the slightest. So it's just highlighting some of the specifics with the post. It highlighted that it was shared on a Bill O'Reilly fan page, and uh, that basically since uh, Bernie wants to make minimum wage $15 per hour, it was saying that someone who is making $15 an hour, they're going to be making around um, $31,000 per year, 31200 right here. But because of that 52% tax plan to pay for Medicare for all, they're actually only going to be making uh, 14976 And so the worker is actually earning 720 an hour, so this post was going viral. And the thing that's sad is that posts like this can convince a lot of um, people who have a hard time processing information in the new digital age. It's easy for people to think that they see something on Facebook and that it's legitimate. I wanted to go ahead and show you Bernie's actual tax plans. He highlights uh, these ideas in his book, uh, Our Revolution, as well. Okay, so you look at current people that are making zero to ten thousand dollars, they'll pay ten percent, uh, or about nine thousand hundred twenty-five. And then you look the next tax break up to thirty-eight thousand seven hundred twelve percent. And under his plan, it's going to be the same. They're also going to pay twelve percent. Uh, 38700 to 82500 they're going to pay 22%, so it jumps up a lot from that bracket. And so you look, it's literally the exact same. It's not going to raise taxes on any of these groups. You go down up until 157000 it bumps up to 24%, which even then a lot of people have to analyze why is someone who's making $39,000 per year. Why is someone who's making $39,000 per year paying only 2% less in taxes than someone who's making $156,000 per year? That's how it currently is, and Bernie doesn't really differentiate until you start making a lot more. And here it jumps quite a bit. You go 157,500 to 200,000, so 32,000, but it's going to stay the exact same. That indicates that people who are making $200,000 or less, their taxes are not even going to go up. Okay, you look, here's where it starts to differentiate. So 200,000 to 500,000, they all pay 35% currently. And Bernie's saying, Let's make it 200,000 to 250,000. Let's keep them within that same 35% bracket. But then he creates another bracket between 250 and 500,000 that's at 40%. But right here, 500,000 up, it's just 37%. Which means that literally someone who, someone who is making $30 million per year, they are paying the same tax percentage as someone who's making literally $501,000 per year. Do we understand how crazy that is? That's basically a flat tax for the wealthy. But there's a huge difference between someone who's making $501,000 per year and someone who's making a billion dollars per year, like, like a Bezos or Coke type figure. So in a lot of ways, it's like, yeah, the person who's making 501000 per year is getting absolutely screwed, as well as the person that's making $200,000 per year, and they're paying just barely less of a percentage than someone making billions. But you look and you see 500000 to $2 million is at 45%, and then you have $2 million to $10 million is 50%. And then 10 million up, 52%. And people might say, oh, we're raising taxes on the wealthy. I understand that through the 1950s to the 1970s, the wealthy were paying way more taxes than this. It wasn't even, it's not even close. People were paying 
crazy amount, 70% more. I'm not saying that that's how it should be. I'm saying that this is not unrealistic in the least. This is a good tax plan. Uh, I'm doing that as well as adding, doing that as well as uh, changing some of the laws of capital gains and taxing it as regular income. That's not unreasonable. Now, ultra millionaires and billionaires, they may try to convince the public that Bernie's tax plans are so radical and so bad, but what they don't want people knowing is that it's not even near as high as it used to be. And so here's just some of the accurate information about Bernie's tax plan.